We've got about 250 rural grocery stores around the state in communities with a population of 2,500 or less. Small town grocery stores are on the front lines of this pandemic, and right now Kathy Drager with the U of M Extension says most grocers can still get the products they need. But as supply lines get strained, she says that may change in the coming weeks. We saw during the California drought that some stores uh, had less access to fresh produce. So just thinking ahead on what this situation could be. To prepare for the worst, the U of M Extension launched a new emergency meal kit program. Each kit weighs about 60 pounds, costs between $120 and $150, and contains enough food for 14 days. The extension has created a tip sheet grocers and community groups can use to start building these kits for the sick and vulnerable in their community. It has things like pancake mix and peanut butter and crackers and soups. Drager says community members in Clinton and Graceville, Minnesota, have each set aside six emergency meal kits already. Church groups and nonprofits in other communities have also shown interest. She says anyone who's worried about the sick and elderly in their community can also start a program for themselves. What can people do if they they, you know, like this idea and want to help out. You can find our kit. It's online. It's a suggestions for how a community could work with their rural grocery store to build this kit and deploy it in your community. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News.